I was hired by a large corporation to break rocks, mining out precious resources from asteroids. Ever since the Great Technological Revolution, we've developed machines to do most of our work for us, but the human is still required to ensure those machines work. The ship transporting me to my latest assignment unexpectedly dropped from hyperspace. Engine problems, which should have been repaired with ease. That is, if the engineer assigned to it was not bribed by a rival corporation. As I was ushered to the nearest escape pod, the entire ship depressurized. The last thing I saw was all my colleagues thrown from the ship into the cold, unforgiving vacuum of space. Am I the only one who made it? As my pod descended on this frozen wasteland of a planet, I tried hard to block out the images of the tragedy that brought me here. The link to the primary data computer severed means I will have to teach my onboard systems how to build again. So my first goal becomes setting up a camp, a temporary base of operations. Through salvage and hard labor, I must gather the resources from the barren planet. job is going to be let's fill up the we are going to have to build a camp that's our first goal Inventory full. Inventory full. Okay. Okay. Let's process too much of this. My goodness. Hard physical labor. If, I, if any of them, any of my underlings, any of the people below me, Survived. Remind me to give them all pay raises. Full. Not just for surviving. Well, not for surviving, but because oh my goodness, I have to start this all over again. I'm used to having access to my whole ship with the full database and everything. And now I have to teach my computer how to build stuff again. You know how hard, how annoying this is gonna be. Nah. not very far. I don't know, maybe I'll run for it. Let's go! We're gonna check out this unknown signal. Might be a survivor. If it's a survivor... It's only 800 meters away. That's not a survivor. But it might be useful materials. It's 
not pirate. Come on. I see you coming down. Get down here. Might have useful stuff on you. Do me out here, but okay, whatever. anything you don't want to be attracted. What you need is the heart is the heart. Let's work on first. Getting comfortable. Once we're comfortable and safe, Fuel low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once we're comfortable and safe, we'll work on other stuff. And then after we get comfortable and safe, and we have a nice little base of operations going on, I might even fancy it up, make it look kind of cool. They might actually employ. I could get a promotion out of this. I could get a promotion if I can establish a, a mining colony that they don't have. This rock here, this 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 area here is this planet that I landed on is actually really good. Look at all this ice. Ice is one of our most valuable resources now. Water. Especially considering we don't renew it, we use it. So we gotta get some more water stuff. Okay, that's it. Here. And steel plates, right? Okay. That way. So we need computer, display motor, and construction component. Let's see what we have available after this. We need after this. Okay, so we need. Alright, two more motors. And then we can put this back in here for now. Two more motors. Alright. The con The medical computers we can salvage from this. Alright, so we're just gonna take all this out. How much space we got in our inventory? We got plenty. Okay. Now we have one. Yeah, that won't 
one there, yeah. Alright. Now. We have our basic trap, the basic system over there. Let's take the... Okay, what's our progression? We have to retrain the computer how to do things. Because, well, the computer doesn't remember. So we gotta build a basic assembler like that. Interior wall. All this. Okay. Basic refinery to unlock all the useful stuff. Really useful stuff. That, that, okay. There we go, we just taught the computers on new stuff. Alright, alright. Can't refurbish this, it's the solid all of it. That's new. The old models did not have those. Old escape pods did not have those available. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Alright. So, anyhow. Our first duty is we're gonna have to make a... Uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah. A, a, an assembler. Basic assembler. This thing. Oh, yeah. Which needs steel plates. Okay. Put it out that way. Alright, so we need another. 60 steel plates. Looks like 52 steel plates, actually. <laughs> then we need 80 computers for displays. Got one display, so we'll do two, three. 80 computers. Alright, and what else? 10 motors. One, two, Seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then we've got forty construction component. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And that's everything. So we just need to feed this thing a bunch of stone. What is going on? Why is production stopped? We need more iron. Oh my goodness, this is not easy. Like, crew. They're not here to do that. So I have to do all of this myself. It's not easy. What? What the fuzz bot? That can go on there for now. Why is this thing not producing anymore? Oh. That's why. Could explain it. Quite easy. Not enough power. Did the wind change?
What is this weather pattern? This weather pattern is putting a dampen dampener in my system. Go away, weather. Be bad. This could be very bad. Look at that. This weather is disrupting our power generation. But quite a bit. Look at that. Oh my goodness. If this keeps up for too long, we're gonna have to learn how to compensate for that. We're gonna need a hydrogen. Generator. Moving in there, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever I'm talking to. Uh, when the corporation sees this, I hope they realize just how dedicated to my job I have been. We have to make sure that. Oh, cool. It's clearing up. That means things are going to start working again. Landing on Triton was fortunate. Hydrogen is one of the best fuel sources, and there is plenty of ice here for that. I cannot complain too much. As long as the pirates continue to look past this planet, I will be left to my own devices. Given time, I may even be able to start my own mining corporation here, and establish some law and order in this relatively ignored system. However, I cannot forget that some of my crew may have survived somewhere out there, or even just out of range of Triton. 